What's going on everybody? Welcome back. In this video, we'll, we will be installing another resource. This resource is the hologram speedometer. It is new and it's popular. Everybody's starting to like it and they just released another update making it more user friendly. So I figured why not make a video on how to properly install it. Pretty much what it does, it adds this 3D speedometer on the side of your car. Here's a little video you can watch that shows you how it interacts. And when you scroll down, it gives you a couple of commands. All we're going to be worried about is going ahead and hitting this download button. You're going to head and go to code, download zip. Another thing you're going to do is go back to this page. Make sure when you scroll down to give this a like. These developers spend a lot of time and effort making these scripts awesome. We all use them. The least we could do is leave them a like. So once we have done that, we're going to go ahead and drop this zip file right to our desktop. Next thing we're going to do is open up where our server folder is saved. So we're going to open, go ahead and open it up. Mine is my C drive in the YouTube server folder. Go ahead, go to server data and then your resources. Next thing we're going to do is open up our zip file. Wait for the little pop up, close that out. And now we're going to go ahead and drag this entire folder right in there. Close out our zip, delete the zip folder. And we're going to go ahead and rename this. All we're going to do is get rid of that dash main. <clears throat> Excuse me, we don't need that. Another thing we're going to do is while we're renaming it, go ahead and copy the name. That way when we start it in our resource, in our server, we know we spelled it correctly. So on that note, we're going to go to our server data folder and open our server.cfg. Once that's open, we're going to start a new line just like before and just type in sure or start, it does not matter, and then paste the name. This way we know it's spelled correctly. Go ahead and save it, close it out, and start your server. What we're looking for in here is making sure that it started correctly, which did right there, started resource, hologram speed. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this and we're gonna open up our 5M to make sure that we have no issues with that. I'm also going to show you how to toggle the theme of this speedometer, just in case we have any issues, because there are some reports of people having a blurry screen with it. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. So we're just going to give this a minute to load up. While we wait, make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment. Let me know how I'm doing and if you like the videos I'm releasing. If you do, I will be sure to leave to create more in the future. So let's see if we spawn in a good spot. We sure did. What we're going to do is open up our V menu, which we installed in a previous, previous video. And we're just gonna go ahead and spawn in a random car. And there you go. You can see on the side, nice little 3D holographic speedometer. Now, if you have an issue for some reason, it's really blurry, not working. There's another script interfering with it. The easy way to do it, hit T on your keyboard, type slash HSP theme NVE, just like that. I'll have this comment in the description. Go ahead, hit enter. You can see just change it. It pretty much dims it down and all this other stuff. This gets rid of any issues it might have with the blurriness. If you don't have any issues, great. Go ahead, type HSP again, theme and type a default. This brings it back to the default theme. The way you can toggle this on and off, you can type slash HSP, I believe, just like that. That toggles it on and off. You can also hit the hotkey, which is right above tab, next to the one on your keyboard. This also toggles it on and off. Make sure you give credits to the developer. This is a very great looking speedometer. If you do have any issues, feel free to leave a comment or join my Discord. I'll be glad to help you out. You can also go on to the resource page and leave a comment. This is a fairly new script and I'm sure a lot of people, including the developer, will leave their comments to try to help you out. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.